Hello everyone, this clip was generated by model that I trained. Not exactly production tier, but something for a 2060. Now how did I get here? Well the original idea was to train an autoencoder as usual, a network that transforms images into vectors and back, and then a predictor net to take in a latent and output the next expected latent in a video. But then I thought that was stupid since that's why transformers exist, a kind of net that takes and returns a sequence of such vectors. So let's instead feed the latents from the autoencoder to one of these, and move the video along like so. But again that wasn't the smartest idea, I should have really thought this more through. Alright, so the autoencoder is a custom one that I quickly threw together. Going from a 128 by 128 by 3 image down to a 768 length vector, this number will be important later, using convolution and a linear layer at the end. Then back up to a 128 128 by 3 image through a symmetrical decoder. Nothing fancy here. And the transformer is also nothing fancy. I just ripped the one out of GPT-2 which uses 768 length embedding DIMM, that's why it was important. So I can use it without the embeddings matrix and classification head to tickle its nerves directly. Now I ain't animating all that, so I'll explain how it all ties in together through the training loop and kill two birds with one stone. A tensor comes in with the shape, patch, time, channel, height, width. These three dimensions describe a single image. The time dimension aligns 48 of those images, which is the context length of my transformer. And finally the batch dimension, which is one for me, so basically a wrapper, joys of training on a 6 gig GPU, what can I say? This segment is where it gets more interesting. We can make a tensor with all the frames, except the last one, and another tensor with all the frames after the first one. This makes it so the second sequence is a forward shifted version of the first one. And that last mismatched frame is the difference between future and past, so that's what we'll be leveraging to actually generate the video. Very poetic, I know. At this point, the future and past version separate. Only the past version, which is the transformer's input, is taken to the autoencoder. So every one of its images is gonna get encoded as a vector of 768 numbers, a format fitting for our transformer to take. Next is just that. We pass the encoded input sequence through the decapitated GPT-2 and we get back exactly the same shape. Just this time, these vectors represent the future shifted version of the sequence, or at least that's what we hope for. And to check that, we decode the output vectors from the transformer through the autoencoder to turn them back into a batch by time by 3 by 128 by 128, which again is a sequence of images, and compare them to the original future version from the beginning thus computing the loss. Alright, now that that's done, we can finally launch it. And while it's training, let me tell you about this video's dataset. Calm down, there's no sponsor. You see it on your screen right now. Not too big, it's a bunch of stuff I stole from YouTube, consisting of CS Surf, cinematic drone dives, bike rides, and more seemingly random stuff. But what they all have in common is an outwards or forwards motion. What I mean is, if you pick any dot on the screen and track it over time, it will eventually make its way out diagonally from the center. I'm hoping that the network will try to mimic that motion. We're at around the halfway point of training and the results look pretty muddy to say the least. There's this synthetic looking grid on top of everything, which is an artifact of the deconvolution on the decoder not fully knowing what to do yet. Let's leave it be while I stuff this part of the video with all the miscellaneous stuff that didn't fit anywhere else. First, yes I'm aware that this is not an autoencoder, it's an autoencoder with a massive tumor in the middle. It can't operate autonomously without the transformer in between. And second, this isn't some groundbreaking approach I'm doing here. There are plenty of architectures that rely on some predictor and compressor combo to generate video. I'm not sure if my approach with the continuous embedding space that comes from an autoencoder has been tried yet, but I don't think it's possible for the reason you'll see in just a sec. As the training continues, you can see that although the loss decreases, it plateaus very high above 0, zero. 
The loss is a mix of custom VGG PyTorch loss for the shapes and vanilla MSC for color precision. And what the Cy Plateau tells us is that the network isn't complex enough to fit the whole dataset. This wouldn't be a big concern if not for the dataset weighing not much more than the total weights of the network itself. So this means that the network can even brute force remember the whole dataset, which is in general a pretty bad sign of just the architecture being plain bad and there probably isn't a reason or way to fix it. Alright, so how is the final product? If I just make it generate stuff from zero with no frames, it does some random visuals and eventually either settles in a closed loop or stabilizes on some specific frame. The forward motion from the dataset is vaguely visible, but it's clearly not drawing anything near reality. I've tried injecting random noise at the point where the encoder ends and the transformer begins, and it did somewhat shake up the result, but still nothing very interesting. If I duplicate some random image a couple of times in the beginning and then start generating from there, it does look like it persists for a couple of frames in the future, but as you've already seen, immediately loses track and becomes very incoherent. As usual, if you wanna have a good laugh, the code is all open source on GitHub, the link will be in the description, along with a link to the Discord server. Although I consider this a dead end and not worth investigating further, you're still happy to tinker around and if you manage to actually improve it, I'm happy to accept PRs. Thanks for watching.